everyone. Welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to automate Shopify order notifications on WhatsApp with Pabli chart flow. So I'm an owner of a fashion apparel store and I manage my store with the help of Shopify in which frequently I receive a lot of orders in my business. Now what I want is I want to send confirmation message of the orders towards my customers on WhatsApp and sending these messages manually after the new order is placed is very time consuming and hectic. So to solve this problem, I have created an automation using Pabli Connect. Now, whenever an order is going to be placed in my Shopify store by the customer, automatically towards the customer, they're going to receive a message on WhatsApp of the order confirmation. And I'm managing my WhatsApp conversations with the help of Pabli chart flow. So now if you want to learn how to create this amazing automation for yourself or your business, then let me take you to my screen. In this video, we're going to understand how to automate Shopify order notifications on WhatsApp with Pabli chart flow. So as an owner of a fashion apparel store, I use Shopify to manage and process all my online orders efficiently. I use WhatsApp to instantly communicate with my customers, keeping them updated in real time by sending them the order confirmation messages. With this automation, I can instantly send personalized messages towards my customers whenever they place a new order on my store without doing anything manually in real time. And I'm going to create this amazing automation between these two tools with the help of Pabli Connect and Pabli Chart Flow. So first of all, I'm going to show you how this automation works in real time. So what I'm going to do is on my Shopify store, I'm going to place a test order of one of my products. And after that, I'm going to check whether I automatically receive a WhatsApp message, a confirmation order message on my WhatsApp or not. Okay. So this is the dress for which I want to place an order. So I'm going to buy this dress right here from my Shopify store. Okay. I'm going to place in all the required details for the contact number. I'm going to add a dummy mobile number right here. And I'm going to fill in all the delivery details right here. So you can see right away I've added in all the required details. I've added the dummy card details as well. Now I'm going to place the order from here. And yes, you can see right away it says thank you smart confirmation. Okay, as now the order confirmation has now been done successfully. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my WhatsApp and check whether I have received a confirmation WhatsApp message or not. Okay, so I'm going to open my WhatsApp. And yes, you can see right over here, I have received this message. Your order has been placed successfully. Hey, smart user. This was the customer I've placed the order. You can see right over here. Okay. It says, thank you for your order. This is the order number. I have received the address, the total amount, status as paid. We'll update you once your order is packed. Thanks for shopping with us. Team style list. You can see I have received the order confirmation message successfully on my WhatsApp. So this is how this automation is going to work that we are going to create using Pabli connect and Pabli chart flow. For creating the automation on a new tab, I'm going to browse the website of Pabli connect that is www.pabli.com slash connect. Okay, after browsing the website, Pabli connects landing page is going to appear in front of you. On the landing page, you have two options, sign in or sign up for free. If you're an existing user, you can directly sign into your Pabli connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. I'm an existing user, so I'm going to directly sign into my Pabli Connect account. Then you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see all the applications that Pabli provides from which we are going to select this Pabli Connect by clicking on this access now button right over here. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Pabli Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right here that says create workflow. A dialog box is going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So firstly, for the name of my workflow, I'm going to give it as Automate Shopify order notifications on WhatsApp. This is the name I want to give to my workflow. For the folder on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created these many folders in my Pabli Connect account. And from these folders, I'm going to select a specific one in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down. These are the folders from which I'm going to select workflows as the folder I want to save this workflow in and click on this create button. A workflow has been successfully created in the name of Automate Shopify order notifications on WhatsApp and you can see that there are two windows in front of you. One is the trigger window, other is the action window. So what is trigger and action? Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two principles. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means what is action? 
Action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. And firstly, we're going to set up our trigger step in which for the trigger application, I'm going to select it as Shopify Legacy. I want that it as soon as a new order is going to be placed in my Shopify account for any of the products that I'm selling using it, automatically the trigger over here should capture the response of that. And that is why for my trigger application, I've selected it as Shopify. And for the trigger event, I'm going to select it as new order. Okay. Okay, as whenever the new order is going to be placed, the trigger is going to capture the response. Then you can see Pabli Connect has provided us with a webhook URL. Using this unique webhook URL, we're going to build the connection between Shopify and Pabli Connect by following the steps given here below in the help desk. Firstly, I'm going to copy the URL from here and open my Shopify account that I want to connect to Pabli Connect. Okay. After logging in from the left side, go towards the settings option right here. After coming to settings, go to this notifications option over here. And after coming to notifications, you can see this option that is webhooks. After coming to webhooks to create a webhook, click on this create webhook button. For the event, we are going to select it over here. It says we have to select it as order create. Okay. If I'm going to go back for the event, if I'm going to scroll down, you can see it says order creation. I'm going to select this event from here as I want to capture the response of the order creation. Format is going to be JSON. For the URL, I'm going to paste the webhook URL that Pabli Connect has provided us. And for the webhook API version, select the latest version that we have. Okay. And then click on the save button to save and create this this webhook you can see this webhook has been now successfully created in my Shopify account as now this webhook URL is successfully added I'm going to go back to my workflow and it says waiting for webhook response so now to check whether Shopify is successfully connected to Pabli connect or not what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase a product from my Shopify store it, can, it is going to be a test purchase and after that I'm going to check whether automatically Pabli connect captures the response of the new order created in my Shopify account or not okay for that I'm I'm going to open my Shopify store again for that what I'm going to do is from the left side go to this online store and click on this preview button right over here and automatically the preview of your online store is going to appear so over here I'm going to buy this product right here so I'm going to click on this product over here and as I'm going to purchase this product I'm going to click on this buy it now it's a BB ping high load rest okay I'm going to click on this buy it now button right here now over here it is asking for the contact details and the delivery details and the credit card details so I'm going to fill in the details the total Total is 1888. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in all the required details right here. You can see right over here, I've added the required details. This is the email address you can see right here. The country is India. Name is new. Last name is user. Address is 01 Amazing Town City is Bhopal. State is Madhya Pradesh. This is the dummy pin code. Over here, the shipping method is standard. This is my credit card dummy details. Now I'm going to click on this pay now button to purchase and create the order. This is a test order that I'm creating, okay? And as I've done that, you can see it says, thank you, new, okay? It says your order is confirmed. As now the order is successfully confirmed and we have paid it using Shopify, I'm going to go back to my workflow and scroll down. And yes, you can see in front of you, the response has been successfully captured. If I'm going to scroll down right over here, you can see the total price is 1888. You can see right away, this was the total price right here. If I'm going to further scroll down, the shipping address state is Madhya Pradesh, code of the state is MP, over here the zip is 462222. If I'm going to further scroll down, name is new user, you can see right here, first name new, last name is user, country is India, code is IN, city is Bhopal, address is 01 Amazing Town. If I'm going to further scroll down, this was the date, you can see the currency is INR, the name of the gateway was cash free payment cards, you can see right over here. If I'm going to further scroll down, this is the ID, you can see right here, my store, Shopify. If I'm going to further scroll down, the name is Baby Pink High Low Dress. You can see right over here. This was the order created. If I'm going to further scroll down, this is the product ID. We have all the required details you can see right over here. That was captured by Pabli as we have done the new order placement on our Shopify store. So in this manner, the response is going to be captured. As the response is captured, our trigger setup has now been done. As now we have the order details towards this customer who have placed the order 
I want to send them a WhatsApp message. And for sending a WhatsApp message, I am going to use Pabli Chart Flow. For that, I am going to browse the website of Pabli Chart Flow. That is www.pabli.com/chartflow. After browsing the website, Pabli Chart Flow's landing page is going to appear in front of you. And again, you have two options: sign in or sign up for free. I am going to directly sign into my account. After that, the all Pabli apps window is going to appear in front of you. And as I want to have the access of Pabli Chart Flow now, so I am going to click on this Access Now button of Pabli Chart Flow. Then Pabli Chart Flow's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. What is Pabli Chart Flow? It is an amazing tool by Pabli that helps businesses to send WhatsApp messages and manage WhatsApp conversations effortlessly. In order to set up your Pabli Chart Flow account, click on this Add WhatsApp number, and you have two options: WhatsApp Connect and Manual Token Connect. If you want to learn both of these methods in order to set up your own Pabli Chart Flow account, you can check out the videos added in the description box below with the help of. which you can set up your pabli chart flow account and also pabli chart flow account and also pabli chart flow provides multiple features like inbox contacts team queues templates broadcast flows ai assistant settings under which we have multiple options if you want to learn about the brief of each and every feature of pabli chart flow you can check out the videos that we have already added in the description box below okay now we are going to send whatsapp message with the help of pabli chart flow for that i'm going to set up my action step and for my action application i'm going to select it as pabli chart flow right here So this is my action application, Pabli Chart Flow. I'm going to select it, and action event over here is going to be send template message. How am I going to send the WhatsApp message towards my customer using the template message that I've already created in my Pabli Chart Flow account? On the left side, if I'm going to go towards my templates list right over here, you can create your own template by clicking on this Add New Template button. Simply select the category, name the template over here. Let's suppose for the category, I select it as Marketing. Name the template, select the language from the drop down. Select the template type. If you want to send text, image, video, document, you can select it according to your requirement. Fill in all the required details according to your requirement right here, and click on the submit button. A template is automatically going to be created. In that manner, I have created this amazing template in the name of order confirmation. You can see right over here using Pabli Chart Flow, and I am going to send WhatsApp messages using this template right here. In the template, you can see I have added few variables. You can see right over here what are the variables in front of this number. Number and in the end of this number, I have added two curly brackets. This becomes a variable. In place of this variable, I can add the value according to my requirement. I have added five variables. Variable one is for customer name, two is for the order ID, three is for the address, four is for the total amount, and five is for the payment status. Okay. So I have added five variables in place of which I am going to add the values right here. Okay. So we are going to use this template to send WhatsApp messages towards our customers. So now I am going to click on this connect button to build the connection between Pabli Chart. Flow and Pabli Connect. Then click on this Add New Connection button. It is asking for the token. Using this token, we are going to build the connection between Pabli Chart Flow and Pabli Connect. In order to have the token, open your Pabli Chart Flow account. On the left side, go to Settings and API and Webhooks option right here. Over here, we need to generate a token. For that, click on this Generate API Token button. Copy this token from here and paste it in this field right over here and click on this Save button right here. Pabli Chart Flow is now connected to Pabli Connect, and firstly, it is asking for the recipient mobile number. To whom are we sending the WhatsApp message to? I want to send the WhatsApp message to this customer right over here. Okay. So what are we going to do for the data of this recipient mobile number? We are going to map the data, which is inserting data from the previous step. So I'm going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. How it works is that that as soon as I'm going to click on this field, the previous step that a Shopify new order is going to appear in front of you. As I'm going to click on it, the previous response that was captured in our step is going to appear in front of you. Over here, I'm going to search for the phone number of the customer who have placed the order right here. You can see I have received this phone number of my customer. Right here, okay. But in this phone number, we have received this plus sign in front of it. I do not want that, okay. In order to add the mobile number over here in our response right here, it says you have to add it with the country code but without the plus sign. So in order to remove the plus sign, add an action step in this workflow. And for the action application, I'm going to select it as text formatter by Pabli. Action event is going to be split text, and I'm going to click on this connect button. For the text to split, I'm going to match. the data i'm going to search for the mobile number right over here of my customer so over here you can see this is the phone number 
So as I want to edit this data of the phone number, I'm going to select the data of this phone number from my previous response. As now I've selected the data from my previous response, the data is mapped. And as I've mapped this data, the data has now become dynamic. That means now whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this mapped data. I want to separate the plus sign, so I'm going to add the plus as a separator. And for the segment, I'm going to select it as second as I want the data after this plus sign and click on the save and send test request button right here you can see i've received the mobile number but without the plus sign okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to map the data of this edited mobile number in this recipient mobile number field okay next it is asking for the template name i have created a template in the name of order confirmation so from so from the drop down i'm going to select the template name as order confirmation okay after that, it is asking for us to select the header type. It is text, so I'm going to select the header type as text right here. There are no header parameters, so I'm going to skip the part. No media URL, file name, copy of a code, URL variables name. So I'm going to skip the part. I don't want the contact to be opt-in right now as I've not asked the customer. So I'm going to select it as none. Incoming block is going to be none as well. No tax to be removed, no tax to be added. So I'm going to skip the part. Similarly, I'm going to skip the field for the attribute name and the attribute value. Now you can see it says enter the body parameter, the first variable that is of customer name. I've already told you that. I've added few variables in this template. You can see right over here. And to add the value of these variables, these are the fields in which we can add the value. First is for the customer name so I'm going to search for the name of my customer and I'm going to map the data the first name and the last name of my customer for the order ID I'm going to search for the ID right over here and this is the order ID so I'm going to select the data of the order ID right here for the address I'm going to search for the address of my customer over here so over here this is the shipping address I'm going to map the date of the address, comma, space. Then I'm going to map the date of the city, comma, space, state, comma, space, country, comma, space. And lastly, the code. Okay, so this is the entire address. For the total amount, I'm going to search for the total right over here. So you can see this is the total price. I'm going to map the data. And lastly, for the payment status, so I'm going to search for the status right over here. So this is the status, so I'm going to map the data that is paid. After filling in all the required details, it says save and send test request. Before clicking on this button, I want to tell you one thing. The mobile number that I've entered right over here in this recipient mobile number field is a dummy mobile number. A WhatsApp message cannot be forwarded towards this number. So in place of this dummy mobile number, I'm going to add my mobile number just to see a test and check whether a WhatsApp message is forwarding towards the recipient or not. Okay, so in place of this dummy number, I'm going to add my mobile number. So I have added my mobile number. Now I'm going to click on this save and send test request button right here. Now, as I've done that over here, I've received a response, which is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my WhatsApp as I've added my number and check whether I have received a new WhatsApp message of order confirmation or not. For that, I'm going to open my WhatsApp right over here. And yes, in front of you, you can see that automatically I have received the order confirmation message. It is for smart user. This is the order ID. Address is 01 Amazing Town, Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, India and the postal code. This was the total amount and the status is paid. Okay. So you can see right over here as I've received the order confirmation message successfully on my WhatsApp. This means that we have successfully created this amazing automation using Pabli Connect and Pabli Chart Flow. So now to sum up till now what we have done. Over here the trigger is Shopify new order. As soon as a new order is going to be placed by the customer, the trigger is going to capture the response of that. And as soon as I'm going to receive the new order, automatically towards the customer have paid the order, I'm going to send them a WhatsApp message using Pabli Chart Flow send template message with the help of which we can in real time send whatsapp updates to our customers as they're going to place the order so this was it for this video thank you so much for watching not just with these applications you can create automation between multiple applications using public connect if you have any doubts you can send us email on support at the rate if you have any queries you can ask us queries on forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can check out this link if you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button down there.